and we are off hello everyone live at five on wednesday february the third and we have a very special guest we do jelani remy from the lion king um simba so he, simba he's going to be joining us in a bit so exciting now you were a matinee lady today i believe i did. What did you see i saw prodigal son at mtc by john patrick shanley directed by john patrick shanley and it is so good you guys go see it so good so good. thumbs up now we've got lots it. of news to get to get through before we see jelani so let's just get through it okay hamilton will perform at the grammys yes they are performing their opening number at the Grammys, not the Grammys opening number. There was a bit of confusion online earlier. Not with us, I got hasten it. to add, I got it. but that's what's happening. Um, so it's obviously very exciting. Um, and it hasn't happened since American Idiot, I think in 2010. And that was amazing, do you guys remember that? So this is a big deal. Yeah, exactly. Like green so situation. great news that Hamilton will be doing that. Everybody can be in the room where it happens because you can watch it from home. Oh, do you see the Lion King people are coming in? Hello, Lion, Lion King, King fans. Lion King Hello. Fans. Hello. Yay, Welcome. Yay, Hamlet. Yay, Hamilton. We'll speak to Jelani very soon. Yes. Um, Andrew Garfield, also Spider known as Spider Man, is going back to the National Theatre. He was last there in 2006. Angels uh, in America. Exactly. Now, but not in America. Lots of productions in the announced UK. for the National Theatre today. Uh, so all very exciting. Now, the reason so why we pay lot. attention to the National Theatre in the UK is a lot of great shows start there. Think of War Horse, Curious Sense and the Dog in the Nighttime. So it's, it's, it's a place always to watch what's going on. Plus, it sounds good when you say it. The National Theatre. Uh, moving on, Nathan Lane, Whoopi Goldberg, Patrick Wilson. Is oh. it Nathan Lane's birthday? It is. Happy birthday, Nathan. You're we my favorite you. person to talk to on the red carpet. Yeah, we know that. such off color that needs to be. Yes. Anyway, they never Tony made Winter, sense. Nathan Lane, what is he doing? Um, Nathan Lane, Whoopi Goldberg, Patrick Wilson, all sorts um, are starring in White Rabbit, Red Rabbit off Broadway. And the, sort of the concept is a different performer each night is handed the script for the first time as they step onto the stage. It's a whole, it's the actor's nightmare. Yeah, every so night. So it's like a solo, yes. it's, it's a solo show. So they won't all be on stage together at the same time, They're but they are rotate. all doing it. But it does sound interesting. So it's great, great coup for the West Side Theatre. I think that they've got this going on. I mean, it's by an Iranian playwright. So it's awesome. all very interesting. Big news with Rocky Horror. Can we talk about we Rocky can talk, Horror? We can talk Rocky Horror. Science fiction double feature has a magenta. And it is Christina Milian. Very good. So that's leading odds and ends today, um, which is very exciting. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't you talk to someone today? I did. I spoke to Lupita Nyong'o this morning just before I got to on my way to an work. Oscar winner on your way to work. Oh, right, literally on my way to work. Hi, Lupita. That's up on the site. To have a look at that. New show people is up, isn't it? With Josh Gara. So cute. They talk a lot about his butt, you guys, but it's important work. It's very. Uh, Paul Wontorek does do the tough, hard hitting. They talk about other stuff too, but I mean, it's Josh Gara. He wears those tight. White shorts, it's part of the story of On Your Feet. It's part of the journey of On Your Feet. There is a journey. There, there is, is a journey. journey. Yes. I'm just checking. Uh, check out Hard Rock Life. The new blog is from Alex Brighton is up. Love him. We love him. The kids punk Alex. What else do you need to know? I think that's important because he's been punking them a lot lately. Yeah, he has. Ryan McPhee will have a younger recap later. After Younger airs tonight on TV Land. Hi, Sutton Foster. I'm sure she's watching. I'm sure she watches Live mm -hmm. Live every day. Absolutely. Uh, so that's about it. So there's, there's sort of various bits and pieces. Oh, there's a Jimmy Buffett musical. Also in odds and ends. Broadway aimed. I, she doesn't know who aimed. Jimmy Buffett is. Well, here's the thing. We People do. keep saying Jimmy Buffett. I, what is he? Who is he? He's Mr. Margaritaville. But you know what? You need to nothing. go to Key West and have a margarita and you'll you'll hear it on constant. You'll just forget it. It's fine. I'm going to get out of the way. Simba, hmm. Jelani, he's going to come in Jelani's and talk about Jimmy Buffett. Jordan. Exactly. He's gonna he, maybe school he can you. educate me. He's going to school you. Bye, Bye guys. Come in, Jelani. Now, oh, all these hearts. Okay. Look at all these hearts just oh, for wow, you. Wow, 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 wow. Hi, everybody. Jelani, Remy, hello, look. Hello, hello, hello. If you like pina coladas. Pina coladas. It's okay. a Jimmy Buffett song. I said, mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not going to get <laughs> these jokes. Now, you bought me a present. I want to have a I look. I did. Um, so, as you know, I like baked goods. And this was given to me by a good friend, Stephanie Schwartz. Let's turn it the other way. Oh, it's a lion. It's a lion. It's a lion. Yum, 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 yum. So, for us to have later. Perfect. Uh, so, it must be almost a dream come true. Yeah. Leading the Lion King on Broadway. It doesn't really get any better than that gig, does it? Definitely not. And to be with the show for so long, I started as the Rhino, yeah. as many people know, and I worked my way up. And to be in this role and to be in New York City doing the show is just a dream come true. Because you were traveling around a lot because you were in High School Musical yeah. on tour, and then you did the Lion King in Vegas and on tour. So to actually be in one place, how's that? Is that weird? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's such a great it? life. Yeah, I love New York City. Do you miss being, is there any element of being on tour that you miss? I love seeing the country. The con this country is so beautiful. And to be able to, you know, do a yeah. show that I love and see the beautiful Americas is wonderful. 
Uh, but was it of Broadway always the aim? I mean, that's the goal, it's the dream, right? Broadway, I mean, like, Broadway.com. Because you were born and bred in New Jersey, Correct. weren't you? So when did you first think, Broadway, this is what I want to do? It was when I actually played the role of duty in Greece in my high school production, Cedar Grove High School, shout out. Um, did you watch? Yeah, of course. On Sunday. I watched, I loved. Was it so good? Yeah, so good. So good. So good. So you were duty in Greece. Yes, and it was the first I, time I did a show and got a role and uh, I, thought, I got applause. And I was like, like I'm, I'm hooked. That's I want to do this. More, more, I want to do this. Yeah. And do you remember the first show you saw on Broadway? The first show I saw on Broadway was the Civil War. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was on a school field trip. Right. Uh, and then I saw Chicago and then really got the bug. And then so. you're like, yeah, yeah, I want to do the yeah. Chicago thing. I'm, I'm getting this sexy yeah. sort of sexy vibe going on. Yeah. And uh, what's this room about the cassette tape? Talk to me about the cassette tape. Because you were always meant to be in The Lion King and you were almost always meant oh. to play Simba, weren't you? Actually, it's a funny story. So The Lion King was actually the first cassette tape I bought with my birthday money. And I would go through the whole cassette tape as one character, rewind it, go back and go through it another time as the next character. So you knew it when you when you verbatim, started? Verbatim. And actually, I did a show, a showcase at the Paper Mill Playhouse Rising Star Awards. And actually, the song that I was picked to sing was Endless Night. So, I mean, it's kismet, right? Now, this is a fun question that's just come in. Do you really FaceTime with Aladdin stars at intermission? True. <laughs> I have so many How colleagues and other go? shows. It's awesome. Uh, Wait, did you? I mean, have, were you all in the Lion King somewhere before, or what? I mean, had... So uh, Courtney Reed and I were just great friends, and, okay. and Adam Jacobs uh, in the High School Musical family as well, and with his sister, and we all just love to catch up. So you FaceTime? Of course. This is this is this is brilliant of behind course, the scenes. Of course. Sort of, sort of action. Myself and Chantal Riley definitely dominate the FaceTime. She plays Nala. If you don't know, you should know. But um, her and I love social media and getting connected with our Disney family. So how do you keep? things fresh because obviously you've been in the Lion King a long time and you've been doing the same role at the same time so how do you sort of approach every show to we have to an amazing me? staff of directors and um, associates that come in and really fine-tune us and I find for myself that life experiences have definitely helped craft me and mold me and and I use what I can from real life to kind of dive into the role and presumably also because audiences change don't they oh, the so one audience will be completely different from another and maybe cry or you'll see them crying at different things yeah and, yeah yeah we definitely feed off that but every time is the first time because they've never seen the show before and for them to be captivated by the magic of just the opening number alone is, is it sets the tone for the entire journey okay it's beth again if you could play any other disney character what would you choose wow um well you've gone through the line you know? right i mean that's the dream would you, right says, would, you, would you want to play Aladdin? Yeah, I love a carpet. Let's ride on the carpet. <laughs> do you know how it so works? No offense, Adam. Can you tell us how it works? Well, definitely not. It's Disney magic. But do you, you know saw... how it works? Going on. I'm not, asking <laughs> you, I'm not asking you to tell us how, but do you know how? Of course I do, by Disney magic. Huh. 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 But did you see our GMA takeover that we did? On, uh... Yes, you did, and you all swap so, roles. Yeah, we did. We did. So it was awesome to do a little bit of Aladdin and to feel that sort of Agrava magic. So you're having fun there? A blast. Excellent. Now, I also heard that you've got a secret talent of imitations. Is this true? Wow, you really need to research. I try. <laughs> is this true? Is this Jimmy? I should show that game that Jimmy Fallon plays. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Very good. Thank you, Imogen. Very, very good. Do Courtney <laughs> Reed. Can you do Courtney? <laughs> I, I, wait, I need my whole little aggravate. I need well, my tiara and all that. Right, right, right. Do right, the, right. Right. Do the no, carpet. <laughs> do the carpet. Like, I will know. Imitations as in, can you get Celine Dion? <clears throat> well, um, thank you so much. Yes, we are. Kind of. You get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. Thank Very you. Good. So where did you, where did you start? To, when did you start doing impressions? Was it something you used to do in school? Kind of when I had no friends. Um, it was sort of my way of uh, making myself laugh. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Having some fun. A blast every day. Now, obviously you're in The Lion King, you've been in The Lion King a long time, ooh, in The Lion King a long time. Um, why do you think the show speaks to people? I think that there's something that everyone can get out of this show. There's so many great messages and great moments and great beauty in this show that, that I myself am night after night taken back by. Yeah. You know, there's something that kids can relate to, there's something that adults can relate to, that grandparents can relate to, that my mother has seen this show 15 times and it's always like the first time for her. So, and she's very judgy. <laughs> and, <laughs> so. and do and when you meet people at stage door, uh, is it a lot of people coming back or are they people who've never seen a Broadway show before? I have actually mix? met some people that have been touched for the first time. And there's some people that have come for the first time 
and there's some people that have come for the 10th time. And yeah. for those people, it's I love to take them backstage and get them to see how the actual magic works because that's important as well. Yeah, absolutely. And for me to see them, it's like I was that kid, you know, at the yeah. stage door, touched and, and affected by uh, the sh a show, you know, a moment of, of an actor. So what's your favorite scene to do and favorite scene you're not in? Ooh, my favorite scene that I'm not in is the Circle of Life, which is the opening of the show. It's the most powerful opening, I think, of any show. And my favorite scene to do is the Simbanala fight that I do with Chantal Riley. It's this great action scene where I, I get to throw her around a little bit and she ends up pinning me, but it's still <laughs> a highlight of my show. Have you ever had any onstage mishaps during that? Or you Oof. cover them fairly? Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of live theater. Live theater, live things theater. go wrong. And they do. Um, but it's our job as seasoned professionals to keep it going and, you know, keep absolutely, the show alive. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so I always end on this question. What do you hope audiences take away with them from The Lion King? change. I hope that everyone is always affected by the show and, and whatever they're dealing with with their life and, the sh and seeing the show changes them for the better and leaves them with a smile. Wonderful answer. Delaney Remy, thank you so much for coming to Live at Five. We will see you all next time. Good night, everybody.